the uh, uh, isolationist Republican Party again, a deeply unserious group of politicians face a deadly serious global moment. When historians look back on the early days of 2024, they probably won't recall what precisely an elderly Democratic president couldn't quite remember about the names or countries of other world leaders. They will note that what 26 Senate Republicans chose to forget about world leadership. I'm reporting to Tuesday morning's <coughs> Senate vote on a $95 billion supplemental foreign aid package, including $60 billion in desperately needed military assistance for Ukraine, along with $14 billion for Israel and $10 billion for civilians in conflict zones, including Gaza. The bill must still pass the House where it faces the opposition of Speaker Mike Johnson and can only hope to survive via parliamentary maneuvering and the vote of Democrat, uh, Democrats plus some remaining <coughs> Republican security hawks. On paper, the 70 to 29 vote looked like a bipartisan <coughs> embrace of embattled Demo Democratic allies. But it marks the moment when Republicans reverted to the isolationism of the original America <coughs> First Committee of pre World War II infamy. A majority of the Republican Senate conference, including <coughs> one time Ukraine hawks like uh, the Lindsey Graham and Tom Cotton, voted against the aid. Mostly, they said because it wasn't paired with border security measures. <coughs>